morning guys today is our last day unfortunately in Rio de Janeiro we have a couple of things planned to kind of maximize what we want to do today so one of the things that we have planned today is to do a hiking trail here in the city we heard a lot about one called Dois Hermanos I think it's called which translates to two brothers in English it looks really interesting but the only thing that I didn't realize before when I was kind of making my itinerary is that it's actually in a favela at least the entrance to it is in a favela the favela i think it's called vigigal vigigal some, something like that um and it's actually controlled by the favela you have to pay an entrance fee to them and then i also think that you can't even go to the start of the trail without taking one of those moto taxis so let's see how that goes today i'm a little bit anxious i originally wanted to do the sunrise hiking trail when i realized it was inside of a favela i kind of thought to myself that it wouldn't be the safest to do um, so we just opted to do it in the morning. Right now it's about 9 a.m. So we're off to kind of a late start, a little bit later than what I had originally planned for. Um, but either way, I know we're going to have a lot of fun. Um, considering it is in a favela, I think I'm going to leave my camera here. You guys are going to see the hiking trail through the lens of my phone camera, so I hope that's okay. Um, I just want to take all of the safety precautions that I can today. So yeah, that's the plan. It should be really awesome. It's supposed to have really crazy views of Rio de Janeiro. And I thought it would be a really great way to kind of end the trip on a high note. I heard it's about 45 minutes up and 45 minutes down. So it should take about two hours more or less. So let's see how it goes. <laughs> So we thought that we were going to Morro Dois Hermanos, but the Uber ended up taking us to the wrong location. So we ended up coming to like a different Dois Hermanos entrance, but it only takes you to the base. It doesn't take you all the way to the top. So we had to walk through a favela to get down here. And it was like a little bit like at first sketchy, but the people were actually really nice and really helpful. So we are walking down now. Hopefully we can find the proper place where we need to take the moto taxis to go up the summit. <laughs> it's very steep. I saw online that it would be steep, but coming up to this altitude is just crazy for me, especially being from Florida. Everything's like sea level or below sea level. <sighs> so my lungs don't have the capacity to climb up here well. But I'm trying. I'm trying. <sighs> to the top it was a really difficult hike i'm super out of breath but the views are fantastic
after coming up Morog Boys Hermanos, we decided to come here to Copacabana Beach to spend the rest of the afternoon and watch the sunset here. We ended up ordering this acai, as you can see. I tried acai the other day in Ipanema and it was, you know, okay, but it lacked, you know, all of the other toppings that I usually get, like strawberry, banana, granola, miel, which is honey. And I think this has all of what I was looking for. I think it actually has um, condensed milk on top instead of honey, so it looks really delicious and I'm excited to try it. Wow, it's super rico. No, it's, it's super good. 10 out of 10 would recommend ordering it on the beach, especially if it has fruit on top. I think it just makes it a lot more fresher and more delicious. You can of course get it at the little vendors on the sidewalk as well, but those won't be as good as eating it here on the sand. After the beach, we went to Pura Vida Hostel to learn how to make caparinhas. It's made of sugar cane. His alcohol percentage is 39% and it's not rough. The edges of the lines, both edges. Now we're cutting the middle. Middle again. And then small pieces. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's usually around nine to twelve pieces. One, two. Fifty ml. The more we shake it, the better the cup will be. So we ended up coming here to Pura Vida Hostel. It is a hostel in Copacabana. It's not too far from where we're staying. We're staying about maybe a 20 minute walk away from here. But I saw online on Get Your Guide that there is a Caparina workshop and also a samba lesson that they have here. It's kind of like a two for one combo for about seven or eight dollars. Um, so as you guys can see, we already did the first part of the lesson. The first part is the bartender showing us how to make it. We drink these and then once we finish these, it's then our turn to make our own and that will be our second caparina to drink. And then afterwards around like 8.30, we're gonna do the samba class. I'm really sad that this is our last night, but I'm happy to spend it here. Kind of wanted more of a chill last night. We spent the morning doing the hiking trail of Doiser Mouse. Afterwards, we stopped by Copacabana Beach and then we decided to come here to Purida Hostel and just kind of chillax for the rest of the night. But we're really sad to be leaving. I feel like definitely in Brazil, you need about like six days at the very least, which is what we had. But I would definitely say like longer. Of course, anywhere in a vacation location, longer is better. But I would even say like maybe 10 days in Rio de Janeiro would be awesome to have to kind of explore a little bit more. I feel like we already did a lot of exploring but it's a really big city and a very beautiful, active, lively city as well. So I just wish we had more time. But I'm happy that we're finally doing the Caparina workshop and the Samba lesson. I feel like Samba here is so popular that I feel like we really need to do that before we left.
hay party en la terraza Tomamos tres tazas, una con veneno Y dos con muchas ganas Y baby, tengo ganas Chingarte aquí, debajo del cielo Encima de mí Yeah, I'm a risk it all, baby, keep it high key I'm a little bit thirsty, I need my sangre You been sipping on, sip, sip, sipping on me Let me take a little sip of that Sangre After enjoying my caperinha, I joined the free samba class. Samba is an iconic dance that originated in Brazil with ties to West Africa. It's what they dance during Carnival, which hopefully I can come back to experience one day. We went over the basic steps and polished our hand movements. We put what we learned together into a choreographed dance. It was so much fun. This was the perfect way to spend my last night here in Brazil.